Hello, everyone, and thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we're just giving a few more minutes to begin this webinar. I uh, want everyone to join, so let's give a few minutes and we'll kick it off. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, we're just giving a few more minutes for uh, others to join, so let's um, wait for another minute and we will kick it off. Thank you. everyone and thank you all for joining us today um, and welcome to our Fujitsu's first of the many uh, webinars that we will be hosting. Uh, we have a great uh, speaker lined up today. We have Tressa Klossner and Jeff Getz from Fujitsu who will be speaking on the topic of order management. Uh, but before we begin, I'd like to go over a few housekeeping. All participants are on a listen-only mode, so if you have any questions, please use the Q&A uh, box on the bottom right corner of your screen to ask your questions and we will get to your questions in the order we receive at the end of this session. Also, we do have a small survey that uh, will be shown on your screen uh, shortly, and we would love to get your feedback on the survey as well. Uh, with that, Tressa, you may begin. Thank you, Lalisa. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. I am your co-host, Tressa Klossner, and I am a retail industry specialist for software and services here at Fujitsu. And I'm joined by Jeff Gibbs, who is a senior client executive here at Fujitsu. Yes, good morning and good afternoon to everybody. Uh, we're excited to be here. We wanted to let everybody know this is the first in a series of webinars that Fujitsu will be producing, uh, specifically on topics of order management, AI, and so on. Uh, so we're really glad that you joined us today for the first one. Tressa and I are very excited to present this topic to you, things that we've learned over the years. I won't go into saying how many years Tressa and I have been working on order management, even before it was called order management. So we're pretty excited about, about this topic, and we have some very interesting things to go over with you today. We're going to be very interested in hearing what questions you might have and having a dialogue uh, towards the end of this session. So Tress, take it away. Sure. So let's just go ahead and get started. Have you all ever noticed all the different names for order management that exist out there? Some people refer to it as distributed order management, unified order management, enterprise order management, omni-channel order management. Today, we are aiming to simplify order management once and for all, period. So back in the day, uh, order management was never designed to be a distributed order management. We were fulfilling buy online, pick up in store, intermittently through other systems uh, with a lot of redundancy and a lot of um, processes that were being repeated over and over again when they could have been done very, very succinctly with one process. So to be clear, order management, it's the software that sits above your inventory systems and it figures out how best to fulfill orders. It's a key part of everyone's customer set strategy today, as it should be. So it's literally the routing engine that best figures out where to get the goods and how quickly to get them to fulfillment. And what's the reason that this is so important? It's so important because Jeff Bezos has had a 20-year head start on getting uh, buy online, 
pick up in store, buy online, deliver same day, next day. It's, it's serious. And we have to be able to manage orders the way Amazon does. So when I look at this particular um, slide here, we're, we're trying to emphasize to you the penetration that Amazon has today. Um, Amazon, if, if the US population is 330 million and 105 million of those are prime members and 77.6 our prime members with availability to same day shipping and free shipping. How is it that we're going to compete here? So let's talk about how nothing does beat free. And if you don't walk away with anything else from this slide, the most important thing to realize is that last holiday season, buy online, pick up in store orders were up 50% year over year across US retail. So we have to find the way to do both this correctly and quickly and get that ready for our holiday season. Yes, and, and Tressa, that's, that's a great point. As a matter of fact, the latest stats from NRF this year, they're predicting 57% of consumers from recent, very recent surveys that they just completed will be doing, a, will be doing purchases online. So that's something that we're all very cognizant of as a retailer, Tressa. Absolutely. So when we look at some of these apps that drag down operations, unfortunately, many retailers are stuck now with expensive, complex, and very inflexible order management systems that were really never designed to support you know, supplier to consumer online order fulfillment. They try to adapt these in, in investments, but it's the heavy lifting. And by the time they get these adapted solutions to the stores, they're late. They have missing functionality. Um, they've had to cut to meet budget and deadlines. And then they require lots of manual workarounds. So this is just a, a, an illustration of what some of we can see as a store, buy online, pick up in store, uh, context diagrams within organizations, it creates a mind-numbing, risk-laden plan that has high probability of never seeing the light of day. Yeah, and seriously, Tressa, I mean, if you know, just looking at this diagram, it kind of brings us back to the days of, you know, where does order management really reside? I mean, I was involved with developing systems that, you know, everybody said, well, order management should be at point of sale. It should have a it has a play in CRM, it has a play in clientele, it has a play in e -com. But wait, what about merchandising? Where, where in the supply chain should it exist? And everybody out there and many companies out there, as we all know throughout the years, have had different flavors of order management. But there's one thing that we all have to keep in mind, and the most important thing is, what are we trying to do? The, the Number one, two, and number three is, it's all about controlling inventory. It's all about inventory control. Right, Tressa? It sure is. It sure is. So let's not forget, we have two major selling systems in our organizations today that are very similar. They both have interfaces. They both have transaction engines. They both have to be maintained and synchronized to some degree to avoid unintended price variations on the same products, which can be embarrassing from a customer satisfaction perspective. So when you look at your e-com system versus your store systems today, do you have the same SKU stock keeping unit between e-com and store systems? Um, is there redundancy? This can create a nightmare on duplication and synchronization for allocation and replenishment and supply chain. So this is one of the, the problems that we see out there. So what's the answer? Okay, what would perfect look like? So what if you have everything that you need to deliver your buy online, pick up in store strategy, and it's not tangled up in the monolithic applications, but on a platform that's designed and built for sales on cloud with hundreds of ready-made, easy to integrate applications that would take literally days, not months to implement. So when you look at some of these applications from left to right here, your CRM and loyalty, your e-com, your tasks, your inventory, 
think about all of this, including your customer facing applications on the clientele and the order management side. Think of that on one single platform in a cloud environment. Okay. And, and Tressa, what this approach really takes is what we're actually doing on this single platform is eliminating a multitude of applications that you're running today. And in effect, what we're really doing is we're connecting the entire supply chain. What Fujitsu is talking about is connecting from supplier to the retailer to your end consumer and everything in between. And, and again, it's all about controlling inventory. So what we're presenting here today is a easy to train, upgradable and personalized experience for your customers throughout your organization from your suppliers right down to the end consumer. And that delivery can be wherever the consumer wants. It could be to their home, to their office, to a store, to a locker, to a, any other pickup site they might want. Uh, we can also talk about drone delivery. So it, the list goes on and on. And we have to be pre prepared, Jeff, for whatever comes next. So for example, we have all of these existing applications in the blue box in the center here for you know, task management, clienteling, e-com, et cetera. But what's coming down the pipe? What is coming out into the market now that we need to be able to take advantage of? It's artificial intelligence, as we're all hearing so much about, and also automation. So the question we have for you guys today is, does this exist? And the answer is yes. It exists today and can be deployed quickly and cost efficiently. Glovia Order Management brings together a wide range of features that are designed for modern selling both online and in store and can seamlessly deliver channelless retailing and all delivered uh, in this instance, on the Salesforce, Salesforce Commerce Cloud. So let's talk about where Glovia came from. Glovia was born out of a manufacturing ERP. Lots of the ERPs that you see out on the market today were developed and born from the manufacturing side of the house, for example, SAP and Oracle. These systems were created to be able to manage complex orders and routing. And if we tip our hat to our vertically integrated retailers who also manufacture as well as sell and retail, uh, they were the first to grab on to this concept. And they understand that being a manufacturer has a different set of uh, business rules and capabilities that are necessary in order to be successful. So some of these things we've outlined here with the EDI transaction transacting, and then also all the servicing and the scheduling and um, the after sale and the after sale care that needs to happen within these kinds of transactions and these kinds of systems. Okay. So what we suggest here is that retailers are really starting to take notice of this manufacturing transformation. And they're starting to innately build, if you will, some of this manufacturing capability into their retail systems. And we're telling you that we already have this kind of capability built in with Glovia Order Management, the ability to be able to do things like um, fill of materials and things that were commonly only seen in manufacturing systems. Right. That's right, Tressa. And too many order management um, applications that are out there today just consider uh, product that's within your own, within your own, let's call it the own four walls. Uh, Glovia takes a, a different look at it. It is actually going back to actually the supplier. We're looking at product as it's being manufactured and ready for delivery on the water, as they say, and looking on how are we going to fulfill the orders that are in our in our pipeline that we need to fulfill. Um, you know, 
the standard things like knowing the best way to fulfill an order is one thing, but where are we going to get that product from? Can I take something that's on the water and have it cross stocked immediately as soon as it as soon as it hits the dock in order to, to, to do fulfillments in different parts of the country, for example? Globia is the kind of system that knows all these things. It has deep understanding of what we mentioned before is knowing where all your inventory is at any point of time in the best way that that can be delivered to your end customers. We're taking a multitude of applications that you, individual applications that you have in within your organization today and combining that onto a single use platform. Ray. Here's the example of where we're showing Glovia um, on, natively, by the way, on the Salesforce platform today. So not only can you take uh, an account of all the order management capabilities, but you also have the capability of using anything that you may be using already today on the Salesforce platform or other things that you might want to use on the Salesforce platform. You'll notice that um, uh, Salesforce also has um, analytics with their acquisition of Tableau. They use MuleSoft for integration. Of course, as Tressa mentioned, we have a lot of APIs in order to integrate this to anything. Any system that you have in your organization today, if it has an API, we can talk to it. Okay. So taking a look at, at Glovia itself, uh, diving down into a little bit of, of its capabilities, you'll see that we have a strong capability in, in order management. And as Tressa mentioned before, many retailers today have very complex transaction sets be it if you're a um, home furnishings customer or a customer that has a lot of pieces that have to be put together in order to produce an end product for a consumer, we can track all that. Fulfillment, invoicing, um, inventory management, product production planning, manufacturing work orders, purchase orders, all the interfaces that have to go to accounting are all included on a Glovia platform. The, the interesting thing about Glovia and the thing that impressed me most of working on order management for the last um, 15, 20 years is, is that Glovia is really more than just order management. Um, I look at it as almost a mini ERP capabilities, and you can see some of that here, where we can take on uh, many things that you're doing on other systems today within your organization. One other important thing that is a big problem for retailers today is returns. And with a Glovia system in place, we can take returns, make product that is still readily available to sell back into your supply chain so that that product can be used instantly and live uh, immediately when uh, products are returned. If they have to be dispositioned out, that's fine. We can handle that too. But we just as well as we can deliver product to a consumer, we can take back that product also and reuse it within your supply chain too. And that's a very large component of, of our product. So with this, what we've just been going over with you guys today, this morning, this afternoon, you're, you're going to be able to implement this the way you want to based on your systems of engagement, okay? So you'll be able to take these systems of engagement, where you're engaging your client, where you're out in the store with a mobile tablet or so forth, and then you'll be able to take all that information that you get from your customers um, in terms of you know sales, volumes, customer information, all that data, and be able to put that through your intelligence engine and you'll be able to take that and preserve all of your existing systems. We're not telling you that your systems of record can necessarily have to go away. We're just giving you another option for the deployment of more of these complex order, order orchestration pieces that we're seeing in the market today. And that, that's right, Tressa. And through you know proper discovery and analysis, you know our teams of experts. Um, that, that live within just North America alone can help you as a retailer figure out, you know, seriously, what makes sense and what does not make sense. I mean, we have, we're just even just touching on the top 10 or 15% of what our system has the capability of doing and how it can solve problems. 
to have the kind of business results that you're looking for. So through proper analysis, and, and as Tressa said, looking at what you already have in place today will help define what a future forward looking system will be all about. Exactly, Jeff. And not only do we have Glovia order management on the, on the Salesforce cloud, but we also offer it now on the ServiceNow platform. Which is re very exciting for us. So as, as everyone here knows today, uh, ServiceNow is used in many IT organizations to date. And now we also have Glovia order management on the same platform. So let's think about the possibilities of what we could do on a platform like that. Fujitsu is all about offering product that is uh, far reaching and capable and having a multitude of great platforms like Salesforce and ServiceNow just makes the product even better, easy to use and much easier to implement and take advantage of all the capabilities that those platforms offer again, all in the cloud. And lastly, just there are certain ServiceNow ERP features that are being built out that are in that are presently available, and so it's it's really a um, a, a user decision in terms of which platform uh, you prefer. Um, ServiceNow system of engagement has capabilities that span just across your enterprise. So, before we start to get into some Q&A with you folks on the phone, let us just close out with a couple of statements here. One of the things that we really wanted to emphasize with all of our slideware and everything that we've shown you today is just to simply tell you that you can take many systems down to one, whether it be Glovia on Salesforce or Glovia on ServiceNow. So all of these systems that are within your organization today. If you have disparate systems, if you're doing multiple things within your ERP and other systems, it just seems like when we're out in the market and we're talking to our prospects and clients, they are all using multiple systems to do many, many different things. And it would be so much easier on the IT organization and within store operations and so forth if there was that one single platform where everyone's looking at the same inventory pieces within their channels, they're looking at the same customer records, they're dealing with the same promotions and pricing within their channels, they're acquiring their, their goods and receiving their goods and doing all of the inventory management components within the same system. We're suggesting to you that that can be many systems down to one. Right. And, you know, Tressa, this is a good point. I'm starting to see a few questions that are coming in. And one of the things that we could answer right off the bat is that, yes, we can integrate. If you have a CRM system that you're using today and prefer to use that, that's fine. If you have a, a point of sale, let's say that you just recently implemented in the last couple of years and you're not ready to make a change with that and use one of Fujitsu's products, that's fine too. We can easily integrate uh, to your existing uh, point of sale operation and take advantage of all the functionality that Glovia OM has to offer in a, in a very seamless way. Another question that I see has come up is talking about implementation. And in terms of implementations of Glovia, this can be done very rapidly. Average product time uh, from uh, time of initial uh, discovery and uh, analysis and setting everything up and making sure we meet all the requirements that you may have as a retailer can be anywhere from shockingly as little as 60 days up to about six to eight months uh, that you would have, you could have literally everything um, set up uh, with a Glovia system fully integrated into your applications uh, in use today too that that are necessary um, which is pretty significant also so so as as we're ready to make this a little more interactive between who we have here on the phone if you care to join in and ask any other questions um, we would love to entertain those but we wanted to ask you folks 
that are on the line a, a couple of questions too. You know, do all of your current commerce systems today speak the same language in terms of interface wise? Do they all, is this a process that, you know, is bringing pain to the organization in any way? And is the business logic that's interpreted within these systems also the same as um, the uh, initial commerce systems? And then are you re-keying data from one system to another in order to be able to execute your buy online, pick up in store transactions or any other of what we deem as omni-channel transactions? Um, do you use the same pricing strategies uh, between your channels? Do you price differently on the web because you promote differently on the web than you do in the store? Um, these are the kinds of questions that we're interested in, your answers to. And then do you share your marketing information and your customer information between channels? Do you have one customer record that is the source of the truth of that customer for your system. We'd like to know that too. And do you measure your customer satisfaction scores? If you do share these, do you share them amongst the organization or are they siloed within you, your organization today? <clears throat> are there any other questions that have come in, Lalisa? No, I don't see any other questions that have come in. Uh, we do have a small survey, but we would also love to uh, share all the questions that you asked, Tressa, mm -hmm. shortly. We will send that in an email as a follow-up to all our attendees to get their feedback and see what, what they think about it. And also, we will uh, have additional survey questions included in that uh, follow-up email to get your feedback on our webinar, as well as what, what other interesting topics would you like to hear from us. Um, so stay tuned for our email, and uh, we will share the rec recording as well with you um, as in the follow-up email, so you can share it with your um, for fellow peers as well. Uh, with that, I would like to thank uh, Tressa and Jeff for a great presentation, and uh, thank you so much for all of you to join us today, and stay tuned for more uh, webinars to come from Fujitsu. Uh, thank you again, and um, anything last minute? Do you guys want to say anything? No. Happy no, no, we, 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 yeah, happy Halloween, but we're, we're glad everybody joined and uh, we're, we're happy to help anybody uh, with their order management needs. Uh, and so, again, please feel free to send in any questions that you might have. We're looking forward, we're looking forward to it. Uh, you'll see on the uh, last slide is um, our website uh, for Glovia OM. Feel free to take a look around and, and just inquire if we can help you any further. We really appreciate everybody's time. Order management is a fun topic. I know we only touched lightly on it today, and there's so many things to talk about, but just keep in mind that Fujitsu has a solution to your problems. Feel free to get in touch. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.